Hi folks, Jesse Randall, ISU Extension Forester. We're out here at the farm because we've had some calls come in uh, about saving acorns for direct nut planting or for those individuals that want to sell them to the, to the state forest nursery. How do you collect them? How do you prep them? How does the nursery want to see them when they come in? And what, what do they like? What is kind of their gold standard? We're going to show you that today. Uh, it's not as easy as everyone thinks. You know, when, when you pick up acorns, a lot of times you're going to get junk in there. You're going to get grass clippings. You're going to get rocks. Uh, you're going to get husks. And you're going to get acorns that are hollow, that never filled correctly, or that have damage either weevils are in there and and they're they're chewing those acorns and so I wanted to show you two very quick clips on uh, on how we go about collecting and then cleaning our our uh, acorns and then we're going to show you how we float test uh, these seeds and, and get rid of, of of the bad acorns so the first involves a, a fairly crude setup you've got a collection chamber down below You've got a, a wind source, so we have a fan, and then we have a bucket of what, what I call my raw acorns, straight out of the lawn. There's lawn clippings, there's, there's um, holes, there's sticks. Uh, and so what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn this fan on, and we're gonna blow air through it. And what we're trying to do is get some of those uh, grass clippings. The branches will fall through, the acorns will fall through the wind. Uh, we're just doing an initial step uh, to separate, to make the float process that much easier. So here we go. We're going to turn our old fan on, and, and I would not use a new fan out of the house. Get yourself an old fan, because invariably you're going to ruin them over time. What I'm doing is I'm just going to let the air blow all of the chaff away. And the things that are dropping through are the acorns. There are some of the husks that are dropping through. Now, there's, there's ways to automate this, but for somebody that just has an acorn uh, tree, uh, an oak tree or two in the yard, um, this is all that you need to do. Um, it is a little bit labor intensive. Uh, if you got some kids or grandkids, this is a great uh, weekend afternoon uh, event. Keeps them busy, out of trouble. Um, so we've blown off all of the chaff, and now what we want to do is uh, Take these acorns, there are still uh, holes in there, there are sticks, and there are what we call floaters. The floaters are hollow acorns or they're bad acorns, uh, and they're acorns that aren't gonna grow next spring. And so now the next step is to float those. The acorns that rise to the top are no good, they get discarded. The acorns that fall to the bottom are viable, uh, and we want to wash them, drain them, dry them, and get them uh, either into cold storage or we want to take them to the nursery and have them plant them this fall uh, for seedlings to grow next year. There's a lot of steps and, and the nursery will accept raw acorns but you're going to get paid a lot less for them uh, and every year the nursery has a call uh, for different seeds. Uh, I would encourage you to get online. I'll post the website at the end of the video. Uh, contact the nursery early uh, and see what seeds they want to collect. And, and we're going to have a series on how to collect other seeds, uh, how to prep it, how to store it. And remember, seeds are a perishable commodity. You can't leave them in the back of the truck, let them warm up, bake, uh, or they'll lose viability. And uh, what we're doing here is we're taking a large volume of acorns and getting down to highly viable seed that they're going to want to purchase. So with that, we're going to transition to floating the seed.